My name is Paul Humphreys. I teach philosophy at the University of Virginia, and today I want to talk about emergence. Emergence is a complicated subject, and so we shall only look at some of the more basic features. Let's begin with reduction, because emergence is often thought to occur when reduction fails. Reduction is fairly easy to understand. Suppose you have a Lego set, those little plastic blocks that snap together. Using those basic building blocks, many different types of object can be constructed, ranging from a bus to a replica of the White House. You could also take the bus and decompose it into its original component blocks. Reductionist methods are often based on this kind of generative atomism approach. You have a set of basic objects and everything else is nothing but those objects arranged in different ways. Reductionist methods have been remarkably successful in the sciences, in logic, and in computer science. And it is only when they fail that ontological emergence comes into play. Before we discuss ontological emergence, let's consider an easier case, that of epistemological emergence. Epistemological emergence occurs when it is not possible to predict in advance, even in principle, the emergent phenomenon. Suppose that you are in a car that is trying to exit a cow pasture that is the parking lot for a rock festival. There is only one exit, cars are coming from all directions, people are cutting in, and you move one step at a time. It is impossible to predict, even to the nearest half an hour, when you will get to the exit. This is because of the number and complexity of the interactions between the cars. Knowledge of that future event cannot be reduced to a prediction from a small set of basic principles in the way that we can predict a solar eclipse. The only thing to do in the parking lot is to wait until the event occurs. But ontologically, the system is still nothing but a collection of cars and their interactions. Epistemological emergence usually occurs and generative atomism fails, either because of our lack of knowledge of the processes involved or because the prediction is far too complicated to carry out. Ontological emergence is more difficult to characterize than epistemological emergence because it concerns features of the world that are not reducible to arrangements of fundamental entities. Examples of ontological emergence are rare and we should not look for them in the everyday world. But they do exist in physics and chemistry. To help us, we can consider four typical features of ontological emergence. These are that the emergent entity arises from the original entities, the emergent entity is novel, it is also autonomous, and some element of holism is involved. One example of ontological emergence is what is called entanglement of quantum states. Entanglement has the special feature that when two objects combine, the states of the original objects do not fix the states of the joint object, and those original states do not continue to exist as components of the joint state. You can see how different this case is from the Lego blocks example. These two features violate two central aspects of generative atomism, and they prevent reduction of the joint state to the individual states. A second example is covalent bonding in chemistry. If two hydrogen atoms, each of which consists of a proton and one orbiting electron, are covalently bonded into a hydrogen molecule, the electrons lose their individual identities and there is just one joint charge possessed by the molecule. It is sometimes suggested that human consciousness is an example of ontological emergence. But I think that we do not understand consciousness sufficiently to make a considered judgment about whether it is, in fact, 
ontologically emergent. To conclude, what we have just discussed is an example of naturalistic metaphysics, a type of metaphysics that uses scientific knowledge to help arrive at his conclusions. I hope it also shows how fascinating emergence can be if a careful combination of facts and philosophical thought is employed.